beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for neighbors. Would you be mine? Welcome to our revived reality, and welcome to my channel devoted to the Mandela Effect. I'm your host, Jacobian. I've been deep into the Emmy for this past year now and don't really know what to do with it other than document and share my experiences publicly with others. No one in my social circle is truly impacted enough that I can talk and relate to, so I've been appreciative of the various online groups and YouTube channels out there, providing at least some form of camaraderie. My hope is this channel will become a quality addition for extending that purpose. Face to face, I've shared with close to 50 people so far, family, friends, co-workers, pretty much sparing no one if the opportunity presents itself. Reactions have ranged from completely mind blown to immediately dismissive. And unfortunately, those initially mind blown will usually go on to rationalize it away. Without exception, all had lingering memories of the way things once were, causing me to conclude that everyone is affected to at least some degree, whether they want to admit it or not. It's worth noting that not one person from my little test group had yet heard about the Mandela effect. So I think there's still a long way to go when it comes to large scale awareness. Now for those new to the Mandela effect, allow me to combat many of the top search results you'll find and tell you what it is not. Most importantly, it's not collective misremembering, which is easily the number one explanation you'll get. It's not a conspiracy theory. Though I can see how it might be viewed that way with some of the causation ideas floating around out there. Not a PSYOP. This is beyond the capabilities of any government agency. Nor is it a belief, like some fun new internet religion gone viral. Those heavily affected aren't choosing to believe in this. They're experiencing it. The Mandela effect, in my view, falls into the category of the supernatural. When I say supernatural, I mean simply that it's something beyond our current understanding. An altering of physical observable reality in ways never thought possible. Not just altered in present time, but retroactively, as if it's always been that way. In short, the Mandela effect amounts to reality shifts. How do I know that's what's happening? Well, because I've witnessed it firsthand. Who am I to be making such a claim? Nobody to you. I'm a complete stranger. I understand that. But hopefully with time, if you decide to hang with this channel, I'll be able to establish credibility and develop strategies so we can capture new changes together. Now, catching changes sounds well and great, but what evidence do we have right now? For that, I'd start with anchor memories. Thoughts and interactions with others that shouldn't exist unless the item in question once existed in a particular way. It's one thing to conclude everyone's just identically misremembering a bunch of stuff, but it's a whole other leap to conclude they also conjured up identical life experiences that should never have happened. This is an important topic that I'll give full attention to in a later video. Reality residue which is evidence that helps confirm an item in question, once existed the former way at some point in time, often found in artwork, newspapers, books, magazines, parodies or reenactments, live music and interviews. There's a lot of great stuff out there that I can't wait to share with further presentations. Flip-flops. Sometimes something will actually switch back, which makes it undeniable. These are rare, so do feel lucky if you ever come across one. It's another important topic demanding full attention for a later time. Now, from what I've gathered, people are having different degrees of Mandela effectiveness. I wanted to break it down as best I can into stages. Stage one, memories. If you're solidly stage one, that's usually convincing enough to realize something highly unconventional is occurring, which might cause you to investigate further and bear witness to stage two, day-to-day -day changes. Something existing a particular way one day then impossibly changing to a different way the next. Not just change present time, but retroactively, as if it's always been that way. I repeat this aspect because it's key to understanding the effect, but often not fully grasped. From that point on with the changed item, you'll predominantly find evidence representing that it's always been the new current way. It is some Twilight Zone, Black Mirror level nonsense, almost as if God or some other higher being is playing a practical joke on you. Stage three, real time changes. Actually seeing something change right before your eyes or audibly right before your ears. Again, from there on out, retroactively altered as if it's always been. Stage four, 
personal changes. These are alterations to one's occupied environment with buildings, trees, household items, maybe even people transforming or inexplicably appearing, disappearing at random. Stage five, controlled changes. Claims of being able to take charge and manifest the reality one desires. Do you feel in charge? I must say for me personally, I still feel like a helpless observer at this point. Then we have the additional symptoms that can occur at any of these five stages with the ear ringing, light flashes, synchronicities, and various other paranormal phenomena. Next, I'd like to discuss channel goals. First and foremost is to be a support for other experiencers, reassuring those new to the effect that they're not going crazy. If possible, awaken others. So far I'm on route to have about a 2% success rate, which is obviously far from impressive. If nothing else though, hopefully it's at least planting seeds in the closed minds of those who are for now completely shut off. Debunk non-MEs. And by that, I don't mean critiquing shifts that don't resonate with me personally. It would be more for combating false claims and lazy research, which can likely get in the way of discovering the cause. Let's figure out the who, how, and why. This is clearly the element that keeps all of us fellow experiencers up at night. At times there seem to be messages associated trying to get our attention. I for one would really like to know if it derives from a source of good or evil. Maybe it's from multiple sources. And part of figuring that out will be to document changes, investigate patterns and likely meanings, which might make it easier to predict and catch changes. I'll be utilizing various techniques with notes, tracings, and description bins. Personally, this is how I've caught Emmys in the act leaving zero doubt in my mind this thing is occurring. I assume had anyone been shadowing me, they would have observed the same. It does require a lot of work though. So as this channel grows and there's a sizable enough audience to make it worthwhile, I'll begin conducting public experiments and do my best to establish to any doubters out there that these shifts are indeed real. I'll be non-monetized, won't ask for donations, seek sponsorships or pitch merchandise. I'll never ask anything of my audience other than active participation and to have an open mind. In closing, I didn't seek to be introduced to this discovery, but feel very fortunate to have become enlightened to it. I find the changes to be endlessly exciting, and as of now, see no need to be fearful of them. The only hard part is processing how those around us don't seem to notice or care, mysteriously going about their days as if nothing is happening. And when presented with the details of the ME, show just a bizarre level of extreme disinterest, or even hostility at times. Those closest to me for sure would prefer I get back in step with the program, which after what I've experienced is just not ever going to happen. So for those of you who feel the same, who know or suspect this effect is real, please do come along for the ride. I'll appreciate having you as my Mandela affected neighbor.